Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our first day of school. We just backed at the hospital. And that's my vlog for the day. Everyone left. All I do is I vlog my day. Oh, Cecile, I'll blur you out. Oh, thanks. It's our first day of school. It's our first day of high school. Oh my God, our first day. Our first well, day of getting, yeah, it's our first day of high school. We'll walk into the simulation center. Oh my God. Scary. It is scary. Okay, quick note from voiceover Sav here because I realized I kind of just threw you into this vlog without any explanations. This was my first week of school and it's something called transition to clerkship. So before we start going into the hospital, doing our rounds, all that fun stuff, we kind of had this week of boot camp training where we learned about suturing, IV insertions, PPE, and it's really just prepping us for this new clerkship. So that's why it's called transition to clerkship and that's why it's just a whole bunch of simulations yeah, so and practicing and I hope you guys enjoy. Use your this finger to push in the catheter. Yeah. There you go. Okay, oh, that's normal. This? No, that's normal. Now screw in your head. Don't worry. There you go. Okay, is that even? No, I yeah, think that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is 7:40. Tuesday, August 27th. It's our second day of school and the Lord has tasted me. I've unfortunately been dealt what I would say is probably top three worst period cramps I've ever had. I didn't get a lot of sleep two nights ago because I was nervous for the first day of school so I thought I would make up for it last night. I did not make up for it. I think the pain was just so debilitating that it kept waking me up at night. So I woke up at like two and then three and then five and then I just couldn't go back to sleep because of how much it hurt. But, you know, I have to go to class. So I just took a bunch of pain meds. My tummy hurts, but it's okay. And I'm gonna just thug it out and I'm gonna persist. Cause it's not that bad, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Um, today we have sensitive exams in the morning. So we're doing, you know, pap smears, I think. IUD insertions? Probably not actually. DRE, stuff like that. Very sensitive exams. And I think in the afternoon we have like infection control, putting on PPE, stuff like that. And that's my day from like 8 to 5. And this tummy ache needs to go away or I'm gonna freak out. So I'm gonna try and film what I can. Let's try and turn the day around despite my lack of sleep and awful, awful, awful period cramps. So. Let's try our best. Um, for the sake of anonymity, we're going neck down. But please, Thank you. hi mystery woman, what are you having for lunch today? Hi everyone, so I'm having white jasmine rice with some Chinese, oops sorry, Chinese cauliflower <laughs> and some um, chicken my mom marinated and then some chili bamboo shoots. Beautiful. Hello <laughs> mystery woman number two, what are you having for Hello, lunch? Hello, I'm having salmon with this um, Catalan steak sauce that I froze and made a while ago. Sweet potatoes and broccolini. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm having, what was it? Potentially rainbow trout. Potentially rainbow trout and some rice with forgotte seasoning and seaweed salad. And that is our lunch. Bye.
Should we all get Boisson and Gazos? What's Gazos? Boisson, should we have a look at Dan's famous cuisine? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Let's see that. Okay, you guys want her to speak English? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, sorry, my French is awful. <laughs> All right, so obviously as you can see from here, my French needs a little bit of work. For being able to communicate with my French-speaking patients, not embarrassing myself when I'm trying to order poutine in Quebec. Um, can I please have the Quebecois poutine? I have so many reasons to actually try and learn this language, and that brings us to the part of the video that is kindly sponsored by Lingoda. So Lingoda is an online language learning partner that really understands what it takes to learn a language. Now that we're back to school and the timetable is looking a little bit crazy, it's even harder than normal to try fitting in language learning into our already busy schedules. The best thing about Lingoda is that it's a human-led teaching experience where you have teachers from all around the world that can help you practice real-world language for everyday situations. They get that everybody learns differently and have flexible courses and personal self-learning tools to fit learning into your life and not the other way around. There are three different learning paths available to tailor to your learning goals. You have Flex, Teams, and Sprint, which you can all see over here, and Flex may be more geared towards students like you and I, where we can choose to take classes anytime, 24-7. It's very easy to book classes, which are basically like these Zoom sessions where you have a teacher that's an expert in that language and a few other students and you go around learning grammar, practicing your accents, and overall just feel really motivated to keep learning the language. As I head back to school in clerkship and I'm really bumping up my patient exposure, it's a goal of mine to learn enough conversational French to let my francophone patients feel heard. Et avec l'angoda, je suis plus proche d'attendre cet objectif. It's back to school season, so let's keep the learning train going a little bit longer and use Lingoda to tailor our learning path to our goals. Click my link in the bio or use my discount code here to save 20 euros or whatever your equivalent currency is when signing up. Thanks so much to Lingoda, back to the video. Hi, my name's Sabrina. How exactly did Jim hit his head? Was he running or playing? Hi there, my name's Sabrina. I'm a third year medical student from the University of Ottawa, and today we're going to be conducting a telemedicine interview. So, uh, Sabrina, did, did you think that this case was... Yeah, I think so. I think um, for cases like this, where... Uh, well, at least for my case, he wasn't really presenting it as like a super acute um, concern. Like he didn't want, he didn't think it was necessary to go to the emergency department about it. He just had a couple of questions to ensure that we weren't missing something serious. And perhaps, you know, that kind of alleviates the burden from like the emergency department. It's just like another avenue to receive care. So I think that, yes, <laughs> is the answer to the yeah. question. Yeah, I, I, the way I see it is that this really fulfills a nice role of mm -hmm. screening and triage. Yeah. Okay. To a nine-year-old boy who had his head running into a fence. Uh, he doesn't have any significant past medical history. Hi guys, I'm in the car. Thank you for driving. Can we just pull it? Like, can I not just? Here we go. Wait, that. That works. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's. Hi guys. Oh, they can't even see what we're doing. Hold on. We're we're. Oh, are we doing it? Some... I know none of them are aligned, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need a mattress stitch step. He said no one ever. <laughs> 
a patient's a movie. What if there's a bunch of doctors watching this? And they're seeing we're holding <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we wouldn't do this in the OR. Guys, it's just a prank. It's just a skit. Guys, we're duping you. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about what our favorite stitch is. My favorite stitch is a simple interrupted. Hey everyone, Sabi Yang here. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite stitch is um, this one. The, the, the vertical The mattress. vertical mattress. I okay, but whose looks better? Thing. Comment below. Everyone comment down below whose stitches look like. Oh my gosh. Now wait a minute. <laughs> And then in practice, these are about a third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your flash? Yeah, it So when you see them and say, what brings you in today? Just let them talk. Sometimes there are some elderly people that will go off on tangents where you're like talking to you about like, Hey guys, I feel like we haven't had a chat in a while. I feel like, oh, also there goes my voice. So, last time I spoke to you, I don't even remember. It's just been very, very busy this week. A lot of different classes, a bunch of different events, and now it's Friday, so it's the last day of the vlog. So I just came back from our neurology review session, which honestly was so brutal. It was basically just three and a half hours of cases with a simulated patient, and it just, it started at eight in the morning. I'm so tired. It's now noon and at 12.30 I have to go back to class and then I think at around 4 p.m. we have our white coat reinitiation ceremony where we basically dress up, we put on our white coats once again and we basically just pledge, you know, do no harm, gonna be good doctors and so that will be a really fun way to round off this vlog. So right now I'm just trying to do my hair it's they don't give us any time to get ready for the ceremony so in between this class and my other class in 30 minutes I'm gonna curl my hair in the end of that class and before the ceremony I'm gonna try and do my makeup so it's a very long and tight day today so how am I feeling overall you know this transition to clerkship has been a lot it's been just a bunch of different workshops and a bunch of different classes and it's a little bit overwhelming just because having to jump from you know the summer straight back into school and it's just very very long full days has been quite a bit of a challenge but um you know this is nothing compared to how clerkship is going to be so i need to to thug it out a bit I'm very afraid of clerkship. There's been just so much admin things to stay on top of and you know people emailing us left right and center to prepare this and do this and finish that so it's a bit nerve-wracking but you know I gotta do what I gotta do and I'm just trying my best to keep my head afloat. So I'm gonna do my hair and let's go to class together. And if you are asking me, would you like the more than 144 right on the brand pitch morphology and more than 160 it's more up on that one? You will not feel ready for most of your exams. The first couple are always the hardest because you haven't built up knowledge. By the end of the year though, you will... It's currently 3 p.m. Our white coat ceremony is at 4 and I look like this. So we're going to have to speedy Gonzales this and get ready as quickly as possible. So... Join me as I do that. <laughs> I'm just charging my digital camera because I feel like I'd want to take pictures on it. Mm -hmm. So how this ceremony works, at least what I think, is that when we first got into med school, uh, like two years ago from now, we had a white coat ceremony where we walked across the stage, they put the white coat around us, and then we had to give this you know, declaration, kind of Hippocratic Oath type of beat, where we say, as future physicians, we promise to do no harm, work in the best interest of the patient, all that stuff. And then now that we're entering clerkship and we're going to be in the hospital and stuff and actually seeing patients, we're supposed to kind of restate that oath and that's what we have today. It's definitely a lot less glamorous. It's just going to be in the auditorium in our school. And we're just gonna go dress up a little bit in our white coats, take a few photos, and then just restate that oath. However, they did give us a full day of classes and the ceremony is in about an hour so that's why i'm very rapidly trying to get ready and then afterwards my friends are going out to eat and drink and so this space will need to last for the rest of the night we just had a lecture from one of the fourth years about clerkship and it was 
as entertaining as it was scary. I think very common themes are that, you know, it's just, it's going to be a really fun time. Clerkship is going to be very difficult, but it's going to be very um, rewarding and fulfilling, but it is going to be difficult and everybody always talks about how difficult a transition it is. So, you know, I think the nerves are normal. I think it would be weird if you weren't nervous just because of how different this all is, but I've definitely got a bit of the heebie-jeebies for sure. Okay, so let's finish this face and I will see you to pick my outfit. Okay, I'm running really late, but here is the here's the outfit. Here's the white coat and ta-da! Okay, let's go. Am I real quick for the vlog? Oh, not my feet. Don't get my feet in there. I'm getting your feet in there. No. All right. Hi, no, but I'm. Oh, my money's gonna be in the vlog now. I don't think you've been properly introduced. Period. Hello. Is my friend a mountain? Uh, let me just get my